Hello everyone, it's Bob Bonador here, Planetarium Director at the Milwaukee Public Museum. Thanks for clicking in. We got a new video. We're calling this one, Dinosaurs in the Dark of Night, where we'll try to answer the question, are there any dinosaur constellations? We often get this question from kids who visit us here at the planetarium. Now we have the sky set up for the spring sky, and if we take a look at the 88 official constellations, or about half of them, uh, there are no dinosaur constellations. There's no T-Rex out there amongst the stars. This makes sense, of course, because dinosaurs lived millions of years ago, and the first constellations were created only thousands of years ago. Now, when we think of dinosaurs, we usually think of T-Rex, you know, the big menacing carnivores out there tromping along on the planet or maybe the giant plant eater like Apatosaurus here. But as we know from the movies and other discoveries, there are a lot of small dinosaurs too, like the Velociraptor, Deinicus, and Cynosauropteryx, which we can see here. Look how small that dinosaur is. The trees and even the ferns are much bigger than this dinosaur. Unfortunately for all dinosaurs, big or small, 66 million years ago, it hit the huge asteroid about six miles across, barreling through the atmosphere, slammed into the planet. Boom! The devastation was enormous. It created a crater 100 miles wide, buried beneath the land and ocean in Mexico today. But it was the fallout. All the rocks that were blasted upward started to rain back down on planet Earth. The entire planet became a hot furnace in just hours. Our planet was scorched, barren. 75% of all living species, plants, animals, perished. Only tiny creatures were able to survive this catastrophe. And we might ask, didn't the small dinosaurs survive? Well, no, they didn't. But small birds did and small dinosaurs had evolved into small birds before that huge impact. The birds kept diversifying, and today we have over 10,000 different species of birds. So you might ask, are there bird constellations? And there are. If you follow the Big Dipper, you can arc to Arcturus, that orange star, speed on to Spica, that blue star, and down by Spica, low in the south on a spring night, you can find that little trapezoid of stars that's a bird constellation. It's Corvus the Crow. So try to see if you can find that some night soon. Sky set up here for about 9.30. And let's see if we can find some more bird constellation. Let's spin our planet Earth a little bit faster here. Go from about 9.30, go right past midnight, take you all the way to the morning sky. You gotta get up early <laughs> these days. It's about 4.30 in the morning. Don't forget to look at the planets here, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars. And then high above, you'll see the Summer Triangle where there are two bird constellations that are very bright. Uh, Cygnus the Swan up there near the top of the sky and a little further south, Aquila the Eagle. All told, there are nine bird constellations. Therefore, we have nine dinosaur constellations since the birds evolved from the dinosaurs. So. Think of that next time you look at the night sky. Yes, there are dinosaurs in the dark of night. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, to the Virtual Planetarium. We'll see you next time, and keep stargazing and stay safe.